Hi guys, my name is Katie or Katie Does Art and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to uh, 3D model a window in Maya. So I think first thing I'm going to do is just bring in a reference because that should hopefully make this a little bit easier for us to just get proportions and stuff. So you can go ahead and click, uh, click space and I'm going to go into the front view and then go to view image plane import image and then we're going to go ahead and bring in that reference there we go all right and then click r and we'll just scale it up um i'm thinking i think i like this one more so i'm going to use that reference all right i'm going to just put it on the ground kind of like that um and then Go ahead on the right, click looking through camera. That way it doesn't show up in all of our other views. And then let's go ahead and just start building some basic shapes. So I'm gonna start out with a square. And I think what I'm gonna end up doing is building one side and then duplicating it um, and kind of building it like that. So click R and scale it up to the size that you would like it to be. I'm going to try and get this like inner um, rectangle kind of going for it. You can go ahead and turn on like wire mesh if you want to see how it's looking. Alright, so next thing I want to do is I'm going to make some cuts in it. So hold shift and then right click and drag to multi cut. I'm going to go into wireframe mode. And then go ahead and hold um, hold control and a line will pop up that you can use. And then you're just going to click on each side of these guys to get um, those lines. You can also uh, middle click to get like an even line. I don't need even lines so I won't do that but you technically can't. All right, looks like we only need two. That's good. And then let's go ahead and make cuts as well for like the top and the bottom like that. Just because I feel like it needs it. And you can try and get it as close as possible. It can be a little off too. Um, because you can always just move it. Um, for example, if you click Q um, and then go into vertex mode, you can just select vertices and click W and move them up. So you can try and get as close as possible um, when you're making the multi cuts, or you can just move them now. Totally up to you. I'm going to just edit a couple of them to try and get them a bit more accurate to our picture. And then um, let's go back into smooth shading so we can kind of see it all. There's a couple different ways we can do this. So let's uh, go back into this view. As you can see, it's really thick. Um, so you can kind of just grab those back vertices and bring them in. Since obviously our window will not need to be that thick. So there's a couple ways, um, as I was saying, you could either select these faces and push them in, or you can extrude the outer faces, um, just as for like making it look like there's window panes, you know. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the faces, um, do Command E to, or Control E to extrude them, and then let's go into wireframe mode and just push them in, probably about a little over halfway because we need to do the same thing on the other side as well. There we go. Same thing, Command E or Control E, and then just drag them in. So now as you can see, we've got like the cutout for the windows and everything. Looking pretty cute, pretty easy. So, Let's see what else we are missing. Back in front view, um, obviously we're gonna add a handle 
we've got some hinges, and then we've got the door frame. So I think maybe we go ahead and make the frame first. So grab a cube, click W and move it up, and then you can just click R and scale it down and then move it until it's kind of fit in that general frame area. Click R and just scale it up. So we want to try and reach the edge to the best of our ability. There we go. And then let's check the width of that. I'm going to go ahead and move it so it's actually on top of our window. All right, actually, I think that width is pretty good. You can try your best to kind of center it. Um, maybe in the side view. Well, actually, that does look pretty center. Cool. All right, so next thing you're going to do is do shift right click and grab your multi cut tool again. Go ahead and hold command and you're just going to click on each of those sides. Uh, this doesn't need to be perfect, but just so you get like a rough idea of it. Go back into perspective view. We're going to grab this face and this face, do Command or Control E to extrude them, click W, and just bring them on down. Going back into front view, you can see how far you need to go down to. Okay. And then I think what we can do for this is um, just make a new cube. Um, and then just like make the bottom of it. So if you grab a new cube, push it up, and then just scale it out. That way it's like actually kind of the windowsill, you know? And then of course move it and scale it as needed to fit. There we go. This is just a rough example of kind of how you can frame out your window. Obviously, if you're making a window that's within a building, um, you know, work with the building. But just for quickly showing you guys, I'll just make a quick little windowsill. I think it needs to probably be a little bit bigger, maybe like that, yeah. All right, so you can go ahead and uh, duplicate this guy by literally just doing Command or Control D and then just pushing it on over. And then in front view, you can kind of decide whether or not they're even or if you need to move it at all. I think that's looking pretty good. So next thing we're gonna do is add in those handles. So let's see, it looks like a handle is basically consisting of like a rounded rectangle and then just a long rectangle on top. So let's go ahead and grab a rectangle. Go to um, polycube four on the right. And I'm just going to give it some uh, divisions. So I'm going to give all of them four just to make this a little bit easier. And then when you click three to smooth out that object, it should hopefully smooth out pretty well. So Let's just uh, scale it down and then move it into place. Looks like mine's still a little bit too big. There we go. All right, so there's one handle. Or at least that's the foundation of the handle. You can go ahead and just duplicate this guy, drag him down, and then squish him in and elongate him to be the actual handle. And then obviously you'll need to kind of like scale them differently in this view. So clearly those are like way too long. So you can kind of shorten them. Obviously this handle comes out from it more like that. And then feel free to just have them clipped like that. All right, so there's our pretty basic handle. Let's make sure that Yeah, looks good. All right, so next up is grab these two and we're gonna push them on over. Let's bring this guy back. Oh, I moved them. 
Let's bring this guy back in so that they're just barely touching. Grab those two objects. And then just push them into the mesh so that they're clipping. That looks pretty good. You can try and get it kind of like centered in that frame. And then you're just going to duplicate those, Command or Control D, and just push them over and try and make them as even looking as possible. Um, also, I'm noticing that mine is actually in back view. So if you hold space and click Maya and then go to back view, you can actually also edit behind to try and just get um, a better proportion for it. All right. I think that looks pretty even. There we go. So um, obviously this can be treated as a window um, if you're in like a cute little cottage or something, but this could also technically be like uh, glass doors if you want to use it in that way, um, since they're pretty similar. <laughs> but um, yeah, there you go. There's a basic kind of tutorial of how to make a window uh, really easily. Obviously texturing is a whole different realm of things, but uh, we will tackle that later. So I hope you guys like this tutorial and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.